Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Riaz Gul. Uh, in this video, we are going to see how we can uh, initialize Palo Alto Firewall on PNET Lab virtual environment. In my previous videos, I have shown how you can set up your virtual uh, lab environment. You can see my other videos uh, to build uh, the virtual uh, lab environment on uh, VMware Workstation or either ESXi. Uh, so on top of that, we are using PNET Lab for the network virtualization. Uh, here in this lab, we are going to see how we can uh, test or initialize the basic configuration of Palo Alto Network Firewall. So I have uh, the image uploaded to uh, uh, PNET Lab using uh, uh, WinSCP and it's renamed as according to the naming convention uh, provided. So as you already know that we need to rename according to the naming convention of the respective iOS image on PNET Lab or EVNG. Uh, I have Palo Alto VM uh, 300, it's version 11.1 .1, I think. So we'll navigate to the e uh, PNET lab and uh, create a new lab. So usually I used to delete this uh, image. So over here you have to add the node. I have a couple of uh, nodes over here uploaded in for virtualization purpose. So we can just rename it here firewall. So by default, it will have two CPUs and 4096 uh, MB of RAM. But uh, based on different VM versions from Palo Alto, you have different requirements for RAM as well. So by default, this VM300 runs on at least uh, 6 GB RAM. So I'm going to provide it with 8192 GB of RAM. It's 8 GB of RAM. And Ethernet, I will make it to 8. I have to say. And I'll also need to connect to this firewall via GUI. So I'll connect it to the management network using because currently I only have one network is connected to this V switch and this V switch is connected to physical uh, uplink. So I am connecting it to the management side. Now I am going to power it up. Let's see the console. Okay, by default it provides you with this uh, um, console, but I don't prefer this one, Ultra VNC. So I'll go, I'm going to change it. So I'll power it off. Just did it. And you have different kind of uh, console options over here. So I'm always using Telnet. Save. You just need to start again. Now it will open in my secure CRT. Secure CRT you can set up in uh, Windows and then you have to download the first you have to download the uh, Windows client pack for EVNG. So you have to install on Windows. It basically it has different utilities Wireshark, Wireshark, uh, Putty, Super Putty, Secure CRT. So once you have installed that uh, Windows client pack for EVNG then you need to install Secure CRT and uh, by going into windows default application settings over here you have to change the telnet protocol application opening to secure crt so over here i have two options once you install secure crt and uh, you install windows client pack for evng then you will have the, these options so over here you have to select secure crt so all your our uh, consoles will open in one window over here. So if I show you over here, I'm adding one more IOL image from Cisco. So it will be opened in the same uh, console window. That is much feasible option. Okay. That's where you can see. So easily navigate to any of the console window. I'll pause the video till the firewall is uh, booting up. So as you can see firewall is uh, completed the boot process. So I'll try to log in over here. 
but uh, over here you cannot log in till PA HDF changes to PAVM. So till that time we have to wait. So the default username and password for the uh, uh, management network of the Palo Alto firewall is uh, admin and admin. By default, if you are going with the physical box, you will have a dedicated management port with the IP address and then you can navigate using the same uh, uh, subnet uh, from your laptop or from your network and you can log in using the IP uh, using uh, these credentials. So I'll have to again pause the video. Uh, so the console is changed now we will be able to log in uh, with this IP address which is being shown on uh, uh, console window so the default uh, IP address of the Palo Alto firewall if you have a physical box and uh, uh, it will be 192.168.1.1 and default username is admin and default password is admin so let's see if we are able to log in so okay we need to change .197 IP address. But if you are dealing with the physical box and you need to change the IP address for that, I will show you the, what commands you need to run and uh, how you can change the management IP address for your uh, uh, Palo Alto firewall. So, this is the management interface using the command show interface. Uh, management over here you can see that uh, 192.168.1.97 so my uh, home router is providing this IP address okay we can navigate but for uh, uh, commands to change the IP address I will show you in the uh, in the description so I will paste the commands but over here you need to go into config mode device config system okay. so first you need to if you if, if you want to have a static IP address to be configured on your firewall you don't want DCP then you first need to set this uh, command set device config system type and uh, system type to static so over here we need to just enter this command and it's finished. Once you uh, configure this command, after that you need to set system. I think IP address. Okay. You have to set IP address. After that, you will set. Uh, you will be adding gateway. Uh, um, uh, sorry, subnet mask, then gateway. So this will. This is how you can configure it. But currently, as we have. Uh, Management IP address on uh, using DHCP. Okay, we need to exit from here. Show interface management. We have 192.168.1.197. So I can navigate to this IP address. So I'll be landed onto the console of the Palo Alto firewall. Make sure you use HTTPS. and it will have the same password uh, that you can uh, we, we configured on CLI in Cisco we usually have some devices where we uh, configure uh, uh, GUI and CLI passwords different but in Palo Alto you have the same password used for uh, CLI and GUI so this is how you can uh, upload image and you can initialize the firewall in the uh, in peanut lab I'll show you the basics uh, and console for this Palo Alto VM. 
basic details so this shows you what is the version is 11.1 .1 currently so this is uh, our device name is PAVM IP address this subnet mask and uh, management uh, model is PAVM uh, CPU cores 2 VM memories 8 and VM capacity tier is not showing uh, by default by, by, by it's, it's not the license uh, version so that's why it's not showing the more details but from this session count you can see there are a lot of uh, huge quantity of sessions allocated so first thing is device setup interfaces inside interface you will see the management interface details and the configuration you can perform for management interface over here device system and interface so it's loading make sure you completely boot and completely give some time to the firewall because we are on a virtual environment that's why it's a little bit slow so it's getting DHCP uh, IP address IP4. Yeah, if you make it to static then you need to provide IP address uh, netmask and default gateway from here you can change it uh, from uh, GUI as well or CLI as well so this is my firewall You can also go with the basic configurations for the firewall from here. In general setting, you need to set up the uh, host name and uh, uh, NTP and uh, zone, banner, all things you can configure from here. Host name is PA firewall. And you can configure uh, uh, time zone. You can uh, provide it latitude, longitude based on the location. You can enable some uh, uh, settings over here. Advanced routing is one of the feature of Palo Alto which you can enable from here. Uh, GTP security, tunnel acceleration, use hypervisor, assign MAC addresses. So all these configurations you can perform from here. This is the general setting. Then you have the device setting. If you have uh, some uh, a registered firewall and you are fetching the certificate so it will navigate to your uh, support account from Palo Alto and will fetch the device certificate then you can configure the authentication setting if you are having some authentication mechanism configured either you want to uh, authenticate users from uh, your uh, third party server AAA server attack hacks or radius you can configure it from here login and other things ssh management currently we are not going into more details then you have the password complexity settings over here where you can modify each and everything maximum length uppercase letters lowercase letters all the things you can set over here then you have the banners so over here we'll set message of the day or you can set header uh, banner as well uh, message of the day is when you log in it will show you to the admins and uh, header banner is uh, there would be a header on, on on top of this firewall and it will show you the text based on what you configure over here then the same is for header as well uh, banner uh, header and footer same message of the day and background background color would be it will be default okay then you come back over here similarly if you have panorama you can have uh, configure panorama settings here then secure communication between panorama communication db communication wide for communication so all these things uh, for uh, content id for uh, fetching updates from the uh, feed server you configure from here 
from operations uh, uh, tab you configure the uh, what you say configuration load configuration change configuration download configuration import configuration export and at the same time you have the device operation options in the reboot shutdown uh, snmp setup over here inside services you have the palo alto update server uh, connectivity details you can provide your own dns servers or you can provide uh, the dns proxy objects as well update server address is this it will try to uh, connect with this uh, server for the updates then you have the management interface telemetry data content id url filtering update settings content id settings wildfire settings session settings overall you can control how sessions should be managed by the firewall from here so this is how you can have your firewall palo alto firewall inside uh, peanut lab and you can do the basic networking from this firewall so here you will have the system logs as well and other things uh, being shown over here so that's it for now we will go in more detail and build some basic network topology with this firewall and move on with further uh, uh, learning and uh, videos thank you so much for your time and uh, uh, make sure you subscribe my channel and uh, if there is any suggestion from your end kindly let me know so that i can also learn from you people as well thank you so much